Hi everyone, my name is Ayasa, and for today's lesson, I'm going to tackle the measure of dispersion. Are you someone who wants to learn measures of dispersion? If yes, this video is perfect for you. Imagine that you are teaching psychology course, and you want to examine your students in their midterm and final exams. The grade of your students look like this. Notice that there are 10 students in the class, and both the midterm and final grade are listed for each student. Notice that there are one student who acquired the same grade for the midterm and final exam. You want to know if the students' scores are similar to each other or the scores are spread out? This is called variability. Variability refers to how spread out a group of data is. In another words, variability measures how much your scores differ from each other. Variability also referred to as dispersion or spread. The range is the simplest measure of variability. We take the smallest number and subtract it from the largest number to calculate the range. Now, let's calculate the range from the midterm exam grades. The midterm grades listed in numerical order are shown here. Since the range is equal to highest midterm grade minus the lowest midterm grade, we can easily find the range for this data set. As you can see, our largest midterm grade is 100 and the lowest is 83. Now we subtract it 100 minus 83 equals to 17. Therefore, the range of midterm grade is 17. Now, let's have another example. In 4, 6, 9, 3, 7, 10, 12, and 18, the highest value is 18 and the lowest value is 3. So, the range is 18 minus 3 equals to 15. Therefore, our range is 15. Now, let's proceed to variance. The variance of the given data set is the square of the standard deviation of the data. If you want to know the variance of the population, here is the formula. Sigma squared is equal to the summation of the quantity of x minus mu squared over n. And if you want to know the variance of the sample, here is the formula. A squared is equal to the summation of the quantity of x minus mu squared all over n minus 1. Next is the standard deviation. The standard deviation is a measure of how spread out numbers are. Its symbol is the Greek letter sigma. This is the formula of standard deviation of a population. Or you can simply get the square root of the variance. This is the formula of standard deviation of a sample. Or you can also get the square root of the variance. Procedures for computing the standard deviation. A. Find the mean of the data. B. Find the difference deviation between each of the scores and the mean. C. Square each deviation. D. Sum the squares. E. Dividing by 1 less than the number of values, find the mean of this sum, the variance. If the data is a population, then divide the sum by n. If the data is a sample, then divide the sum by n minus 1. G. Find the square root of the variance, the standard deviation. Let's proceed finding the variation and standard deviation. Example, the following numbers are obtained by sampling a population. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 are the given data. First, we're going to determine the mean. To determine the mean, we will add the given data set and divide it by number of the given data set. 
So, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 divided by 6. The answer will be 42 divided by 6 will be 7. So, our mean is 7. Second, we're going to determine the formula we're going to use. Since this is the sample, the formula we're going to use is the variance of the sample. To arrange this formula, we need to subtract each given data set by the mean that we determined a while ago and squared it. So, 2 minus 7 squared plus 4 minus 7 squared plus 6 minus 7 squared plus 8 minus 7 squared plus 10 minus 7 squared and um, 12 minus 7 squared and divided by 6 minus 1 so since this is a variance of sample we will simply minus the n to 1 which is 5 I mean 6 minus 1 equals to 5. To calculate this, you can use your scientific calculator to direct input it and get the answer. But if you're going to do it manually, there is no problem with that. Um, for today, uh, I'm going to use scientific calculator. So the answer will be 70 over 5, which is 70 divided by 5. The answer will be 14. So, our variance is 14. To calculate the standard deviation, we can use this formula or, s as I mentioned before, we can simply square the variance. So, square root of 14 will be 3.74. And that's our standard deviation, 3.74. So let's have another example. Find the variance and the standard deviation of the following scores on an exam. 92, 95, 85, 80, 75, and 50. First, we find the mean of the data. We will add the given data set and divided by the number of data set, our answer will be 477 divided by 6. Our mean will be 79.5. The formula we're going to use is the variation of the sample. Next, we arrange it like we did before. Then, n minus 1, the formula will be like this. Next, we use scientific calculator. The answer will be 1317.50 divided by 5. Therefore, our variance will be 263.5. Finally, we find the square root of this variance. Square root of 263.5 equals to 16.2. So, the standard deviation of the scores is 16.2. The variance is 263.5. For the last example, we're going to use the variance of the population. You and your friends have just measured the heights of your dogs in millimeters. The heights at the shoulders are 600 millimeters. 470 millimeters, 170 millimeters, 430 millimeters, and 300 millimeters. Find out the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Your first step is to find the mean. So 600 plus 470 plus 170 plus 430 plus 300 divided by 5, the answer will be 1970 divided by 5. So our mean is 394. So the mean average height is 394 millimeters. Let's plot this on the chart. Now we calculate each dog's differences from the mean. To calculate the variance, you take difference, square it, and then average the result. 
Now we use our calculator. The answer will be 108,520 divided by 5. The answer will be 21,704. So the, variant, the variance is 21,704. And the standard deviation is the square root of variance. So the square root of 21,704 is 147.32 equals to 147 to the nearest millimeter. So guys, thank you for watching my video lesson. I hope you've learned from it.